Hey, that's right, that's right. We have a new setup over here, pretty much. SZA, Control, Brockhampton, Saturation 3, Kendrick Lamar, Damn, Jay-Z's 4044, uh, pretty much, you know, albums, great albums of 2017. And we have, of course, legendary Def Punk and Michael Jackson. So, uh, we had a blast year in 2017. It was a great year of uh, music, of uh, new albums, songs. Uh, definitely amazing year. Uh, now, we are back at it with a new year 2018 and I'm so excited to enter into new albums you know uh, um, in mainstream pop uh, basically um, with Camila Cabello's new project Camila her debut album you know I really like to be in this position of being music reviewer because every time you know I just I'm really excited to come into this room just to record here and just anticipate what's gonna come next uh, what songs are we gonna listen to you know like every time every project every new album you just wait to, like what's the story this time you know what kind of songs we're getting this time what lyrics we're getting this time it's exciting times basically and I love I love uh, what I do uh, love being here and I love the fact that you guys are coming back to this channel to you know gather together and just check out uh, if we like this music or not you know because there are times that the music so music is not that great uh, and we critique it but I hope that this album is not gonna be a disappointment and uh, Camila has proven me before uh, last year in 2017 that she can uh, do you know great songs she can release great songs uh, so with uh, no further wasting of time uh, let's just get into it Camila Cabello Camila debut album first reaction let's go so the first track is never be the same and I already reacted to that already heard that track but uh, we're just gonna listen to it anyways cuz like I do want to uh, understand what's the difference between this track and the last track of this album which is never be the same radio edit what's the difference i just want to discover so let's go i honestly cannot understand what's the difference in the radio, it sounds just the same. What's the difference between the first track and the last track? I don't know, but <laughs> let's keep it going. <laughs> Honestly, not her best. Uh, I do prefer uh, her older songs than this one. Uh, it was, it's an okay song, but um, I wish there was, it was just like better. Like, it's just not my taste, I guess. But uh, track number two, all these years. Let's see what's up over there. Your hair's grown a little longer. Okay. Look a little stronger. Already, already, heat is coming. Your you know the, the fire. You know there's a potential of fire track. Let's see. Let's see. Sounds like you're happy with her. Oh. But does he kiss you like a kiss? Yeah. Ah, that's an interesting question. I'm, I'm really loving this track. It's actually dope. It's really dope. Then yeah, this part with vocals. Yeah, damn. I, it's really uh, you know, innovative as well. 244. It's not that a long track. You know, it just narrated the story well. Uh, doesn't need to go more than that. Just all these years was precise. You know, it was precise, uh, on point. Uh, you need, you don't need to put an extra verse or extend the song. Uh, I and I really like the fact, that, uh, this fact. You know, uh, she kept it steady. Uh, she kept it well written. The song was fire. The beats were dope. The um, 
the lyrics were fire as well like i love i love this track honestly like uh really refreshing blissful track um and yeah might be one of my favorites already like let's see what the album's gonna be like but if there are more songs uh like this not necessarily in the same uh mood or you know same content in lyrics but i'm just saying like in terms of uh, songwriting if it's that good you know if it matches the level uh, other songs i will be fucking amazed and praising this album like a motherfucker <laughs> so <laughs> let's check out other tracks we have uh, she loses control oh she loves control my bad she loves control and uh, with she loves control i'm uh, predicting that it's still about that girl who is dating that guy she still loves camilla loves she doesn't go to the bar. Too many lovers, she's Fire. Fire alert. <laughs> she loves control. Woo. She wants it her way. She loves control. She wants it her way. <laughs> and all it takes yes. is just one day. She don't want to give it up. I'm on my own. Don't you try taming the storm. Don't say you fantastic. haven't been warned. Wow. Control. Yes. Yes, what a bop. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is this? My body got electrified, and and then my soul is complete. Like, oh no, 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 no! You just don't throw it like that. Like, did good guitar? You just uh, not do it innocently. Like, you're not just like, ah, my English, my English. You <laughs> like, cannot speak. Like, I don't have words. Of, like, <laughs> this greatness. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. Let me back up. Ah uh, man. <clears throat> so the song, like as you have seen, as you have, <laughs> the song as you have heard, uh, is great. And you no, know, she's definitely going uh t to her like um cuban roots right like that latin world and this track is just so fantastic so spectacular so unique as well like like latin music at, at its best like the feel of it is just like it's there you know like flamingo like or salsa or those type of things is just there like that spicy uh glossy uh adjectives <laughs> it's all there basically you know uh it's it's there and uh like uh in the middle of the song the guitar comes in the acoustic guitar with that with those strings uh adding into the narrative of the song as well even and it's just worked incredibly well i am just so shocked so surprised so amazed so pleased with this outcome already we're just three tracks in i mean never be the same yeah it was okay but this new tracks here oh shit two and three it's gonna be on repeat I'm telling you it's gonna be on repeat let's keep it going <laughs> oh man now it's like even more exciting when track 4 she gonna she gonna put Havana on there of course yeah 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 like you wanna kill some people <laughs> with this greatness huh Havana 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 Havana
by the way, I just remembered uh, I was about to say something like after track three when uh, you know I was running out of words. Uh, I didn't finish the sentence. Basically, I meant that you just like you don't just throw acoustic guitar in there uh, so smoothly and so beautifully and pretend like nothing is happening over there. You're adding some salsa. You're adding some flavor over there. And when you do that, just expect people going crazy, Camilla, you know? <laughs> and, I, and I guess that's what you uh, and your team really wanted to uh, do. And the uh, mission is accomplished. And thank you for these tracks. And uh, vibing, dancing to Havana was great as well. It's just like, this album is going great so far. Track 5, Inside Out. Okay. Damn, every track so far can be a radio hit. I feel like she will have 10 singles after this album. song track six we have uh, consequences daddy tissues trust issues glasses on the sink they did fix you again daddy issues trust issues why so many girls have daddy issues <laughs> that's interesting beyonce had a song on daddy issues david lovato had a song on daddy issues loving you was young and wild Free, loving you. Sunshine, safe and sound. A steady place to let down my defenses. Oh, the song. Loving you. The way it's produced and performed is great. Hesitation, defenses. But loving you had consequences. Oh. Here for them, I'm intrigued. Tell me. No, just tell me. <laughs> I know it's beautiful, you're doing like woo -hoo 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 thing. <laughs> but tell me. <laughs> well, she didn't tell what exact what con uh, what consequences were there exactly, but you know we can of course guess. And um, there are a lot of uh, love stories um, where it just doesn't go right um, where something goes wrong and then you break up with that person because there were some issues between you guys not necessarily you my man or my girl I'm hoping that your relationship if you have a relationship is great but I'm just saying, like, in general, there is, there are a lot of people, uh, including myself, who has uh, not a well, not a happy end with love. Um, so, yeah, the consequences. Good one. Yeah, all songs are great again. <laughs> Except never be the same, but never be the same is not that bad either. And track seven, we already heard uh, Real Friends. Real Friends is definitely the great one as well. Um, just simple guitar. Uh, why bother telling? Just let's listen. <laughs> Fantastic album, yeah. fantastic. Yes. Like, more than I expected. 
like much more honestly <laughs> track 8 we have something's gotta give Love you, I thought I couldn't get no higher But all I do is give And all you do is take Sometimes gotta change But I know that it won't There's a good reason to go You know, when I was listening to the track, I was thinking of uh, Fifth Harmony. Uh, I know it doesn't relate to the track at all, the meaning of the track, it must be something completely different. Uh, but, like, Fifth Harmony fans, where are you? Like, are you guys still supporting this girl? Or you're mad, you're still mad that she left? Like, what's your opinion, guys? Like, if there is in fact someone watching who liked loved fifth harmony would and still support fifth harmony for example what do you guys think on camilla cabello was her decision right to leave the band um and do you guys still follow her do you guys still support her uh, personally <laughs> I love that she left uh, honestly like um, when before she like be when she was there I didn't know about her at all and like it was just like for me it was just like five girls <laughs> like I didn't know them by names now I know but before but like what made me to start educating myself on Fifth Harmony was the fact that Camila Cabello left and I was like oh okay who is she and why is such a big deal that she left like and then suddenly uh, like it was because you know she was one of the uh, well not say not say prettiest but like we all have different tastes uh, in everything including uh, women you know like for men like the taste in women but um, like she was one of the top like the main chicks you know in the fifth harmony and she left it was a big deal and then she started recording songs she started releasing songs uh, people started liking it I started digging it more and I was like okay like let me see Camila Cabello in Fifth Harmony what was what was it like before and honestly like it's much better for her to be solo like she deserved that spot you know only on her because like among five girls it's still like she I mean like it's not that impactful you know like she can do much bigger stuff and I'm not saying I'm not uh, I'm not saying the Fifth Harmony is small band or whatever she like they are also great but I'm just saying like she needs her own stage and this album was great I love the fact that we are listening to this album I love the fact that you know she took uh, the time it needed you know like she was working on it a lot and she put a lot of effort we can see by its production like she really cared about her art and like and w like it was uh, obvious when she was like uh, like she was waiting for this album to drop uh, like an Instagram she was posting like uh, Camila uh, like debut album 16 days uh, left and then like 10 days left like it's like she was counting down every single day before this album was released because like she really wanted to see what the public's gonna uh, think about this album uh, and uh, she she knew what she was delivering you know and she knew that the songs are great uh, but she really wanted to just like um, deliver them faster to us deliver faster to the public um, so that you know we all can be blessed and uh, we can all just praise her Ah, oh, Camila, <laughs> and uh, I'm really glad to do that. I'm really happy to tell it to everyone. 
um, you know, deliver this message. Uh, track nine, in the dark. Making the rounds with all your fake friends But never running away from me You can strip down with I, I Show me the scary parts I, I And we have come to the last track Into it Ooh, I'm not a psychic but I see myself all over you It's very similar to Sober by uh, Lord. Like the melody of it and the beat. Really similar. I feel like she actually was really inspired by that track. If she was able to make a track like Sober, I'm talking about Camilla, then, then you know that the song is good for sure, because like, Lord's melodrama was great out. Nice. Nice. And the track 11 is uh, never be the same, once again. Um, just let me know, like, so what's the difference <laughs> to Radiate It uh, and the track 1? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, so, the final album. <laughs> final thoughts on this album. Man, like, that's where he. That's what we are here for. Yeah. <laughs> We are here for amazing music like this. We are here to discuss about amazing music like this. And we get so excited because of this music. Because of the music like this. <laughs> Cause like, really, uh, we like get into new music. We get into a new album, hoping that it's good. And when it's great, when it sounds amazing, when it sounds fantastic, we go nuts and then we listen to it over and over again um, and that's how it works and uh, this is one of the albums um, I'm glad that I'm reviewing this album reacting, reviewing this album I'm glad that Camila was able to at such a young age like she was able to give us a great album, great pop album it's for sure like uh, no matter what's gonna drop and how many good albums gonna drop this year and I'm hoping for that of course uh, it's this album is gonna going to be remembered um, throughout the year uh, and like you know we always uh, music reactors uh, you know crit critics uh, <clears throat> we like to do top songs or top albums of the year and uh, I'm sure that uh, some people uh, and probably even me uh, like we going to include uh, this project as best albums of 2018 uh, I'm really hoping for that <laughs> I mean like depends on the repeat value and depend depends on like it's um, like not freshness but it's like uh, sometimes the sound dies fast, you know, like some people, some albums doesn't age well, you know, like it depends on that as well, but I feel like this album, uh, the sound, the sonically is uh, really fresh and it's really like unique and, uh, but at the same time, this type of sounds we all know, like from uh, Latin America and they're always uh, were they were always great uh, and people love to jam into tracks like uh, all these years or she loves control uh, you know and uh, Havana of course and the tracks after them after that you know like there's still um, that feel uh, but just like more uh, in the calm way you know like we are not dancing at this point that much we just uh, enjoying and also we are looking at our own emotions uh you know like the songs were crafted in the way that you can um relate yourself into those situations uh, 
you're experiencing with a lover or a post relationship like right after you break up with someone uh, if you're in the hurt you know this this song is gonna hit hard on feelings but um, again this type of album uh, is good for those kind of the time when your heart is broken for example because uh, instead of like uh, even beating yourself even more which is necessary to come over to get over a breakup you need to like stress out so hard that uh, you know like you know what yes it was a huge problem uh, and I'm really pissed off that you know, like, it didn't work out but I'm tired of <laughs> feeling sad you know like you really need happiness this is uh, this album uh, is still good to like beat yourself up a little bit bec uh, because instead of uh, um, uh, sad really depressing songs you get really pleasant sound songs but it's just like with uh, sad lyrics on it um, so yeah if you are in hard times right now I'm really sorry um, we've all been through that it's gonna get better as you see like I'm able to <laughs> smile I'm able to um, share happiness with you guys uh, and um, you know great things uh, the great great things and great times are coming and 2018 is gonna be lit and I'm really uh, excited about this year because 2018 is just like I don't know like I really want to make this year special and incredible and fantastic and let's all make it happen you know and Camila Cabello is a great start uh, thanks Camila for this great album again uh, it was it's a great start for this year like really hoping that uh, it's gonna keep up like that you know like the, the great music is gonna come and come like that so uh, that was it for this reaction and the review of Camila Cabello's first album Camila hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel please do and uh, I'll see you guys in the next ones. Пока. Хайр. Ау фидерзейн. Аривидерчи. Адьос. Чао. Чау. Ау ривар. Хор офис. Аньон. Гудбай.